One officer told me some time ago, he said, they have had others such as, don't kill any of them, just arrest them. He said at times, in the, in the attempt to only try to arrest without killing, many forces have been lost. Lives are lost because you can't. That is a demonic order. That is an illegal order. That is contrary to the UN conventional laws of engagement of armed combat. In the middle of armed combat, the forces of the enemy are deleted as fast as they can. If they surrender voluntarily, the law says you can arrest them and then try them and then investigate. But if somebody is in combat with you, about to kill you and they say you shouldn't kill them that is a law that must not be obeyed that is an order that must be disobeyed irrespective of who gave such a useless order let it be disobeyed and let them prosecute or court martial the one who disobeyed it let the country rise the, the man wants to kill you don't kill him. He has already killed many people. Only arrest him. And those that have been arrested before, we don't know what happened to them. Enough is enough of demonic, demonic orders and demonic laws and demonic rules. Enough is enough. And today... As we are here, there are people everywhere watching, those who cannot come. They are watching from all over the world and all over this nation. I'm about to pray for you. Two prayers. Number one, as you stand to do the right thing, no hair shall draw from your head. You are not permitted to die before your time. Wicked people and wasters of life, they will not waste your life. 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 Psalm 105, verse 12, all the way to verse 15. 105, 12, he said, when they were but a few men in number, yeah, very few, and strangers in it. When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yeah, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. The oil that is about to be applied on your head today is the oil of touch not. Isaiah chapter 54 and in verse 17. He said, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. No AK-47, AK-49. No GPMG. No, no anti-aircraft rifle. Nothing. No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is, upon, is, of, is of me, says the Lord. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Somebody say loud, amen. amen. That is the first prayer that we are praying. The next prayer is a prayer of empowerment. Only you shall fell down a hundred people. Amen. A thousand of them. In Isaiah 28 and in verse 5 to verse 6. Isaiah 28 and in verse 5. In that day shall the Lord of hosts be for a crown of glory. And for a diadem of beauty. Unto the residue of his people. And for a spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in judgment. And for strength to them that turn the battle to the gate. He says you are receiving fresh strength. Fresh fire. A thousand shall flee before you. Ten thousand shall flee before you. And it shall not come near you. Don't ever be, don't be afraid if you are deployed to go and face them. God only deploy them to delete them. He deployed you to delete them. He's only sending you to solve a problem. Is God speaking to somebody? He's sending you to solve a problem. And you will go and you will return. We shall see you as you go and we shall see you as you return. Your life shall not be lost in the hands of wicked people. In the hands of aimless people. In the hands of worthless people. In the name of Jesus. And above all, today, is the anointing of Jehu. The slayer's anointing. The anointing of Jehu wearing 
the, 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 the prophet told him, Elisha told the young man, once you anoint Jehu, just run. Because there is an urgent unction on Jehu to slay. After this anointing today, it is those on suicide mission who want to die that will dare you. Once they are coming in your direction, they are only coming to die. It, do, it doesn't matter what weapon you are carrying versus what they are carrying. They catapult. Of David brought down Goliath. The catapult of David brought down Goliath. The catapult of David brought down Goliath. Your AK 47 will finish them with their general purpose machine gun and their belt of ammunition. Your AK 47 will finish them in their numbers. Lift up your oil bottles now. Anybody here from the vigilante association, their head or leadership or and then the hunters. Stand over. Hunters. All right, excellent. Nigerian Hunter Council, excellent. Thank God. Okay, the vigilante is already here. Or oh, was that hunt? vigilant? Excellent. Lift up the oil now. Father, in the name of Jesus, get me a bottle here. When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another, people, you suffer no man to do them wrong. You rebuke kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. By the re release of this anointing, I declare everyone here, senior officers, officers, men, rank and file, I declare you untouchable in the name of Jesus. And everyone watching, on the satellite, on the internet, anywhere you are watching, I decree today, in the name that is above every name. Jesus the resurrected Lord. Every agenda of hell. Against your life. Is arrested forever. In the name of Jesus. I decree today. You shall fulfill your days. You shall fulfill your days. Power. To withstand the troop. To withstand the battalion. You will, you will function like a one-man army to stand between a whole, a whole brigade of enemy forces. Power for that is released upon you. Open your mouth now and tell the Lord what you are receiving today. name of Jesus and Jehu the son of Nimshi you shall anoint to be king over Israel and the one who escaped the sword of Hazael shall Jehu put to death it doesn't matter which sword they are escaping when they near where you are that is their end I prophesy upon you one the oil of preservation Number two, a slayer's anointed, the Jehuic anointed, to finish the forces of hell and the forces of darkness. Receive it now. Go forth and delete them in mass. Delete them in mass. Delete them in mass. And I say it again: Nigeria shall be the burial ground of terrorists and bandits and killers. In their numbers and mass, 
your charm has failed. Your powers have failed. It's the burial ground of the informants. Burial ground of wicked conspirators. Enemy within the army. Enemies within the air force. Enemy within the navy. Enemies within the leadership of this nation. Because you want people to die by sponsoring and assisting terrorists. Giving them information, bandits against our own forces. Your death is confirmed in the name of Jesus. Since you hate life, you shall lose your life. In the name of Jesus, whoever you are, whatever be your level, you can't die well. You and your entire lineage, except they repent individually. For whatsoever a man sows, he shall reap. In the name of Jesus. The Lord frustrates you and puts you to shame. You are your bandits and your terrorists and your kidnappers and your killers. All of you. This earth is your burial ground. Father, defend your children. Genuine men and women in the police. Genuine men and women in the military. Air Force, Navy and all the forces. Protect them. Preserve them. Deliver them. Away from the hands of the enemy. None shall be a victim. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Take a little of that oil in your hand. Thank you, Master. This is one of the best days of our land. And like the young man said, know what to do. As you step out in the morning, your forehead, not yet, not now, just lift up your hands. As you step out in the morning, no, no, don't, don't anoint yourself yet, just hold your hand up. You step out in the morning, you anoint yourself. <laughs> That that Lieutenant Colonel, who is now brigadier, said, while he was commanding in the northeast, his anointing was his cream. He had nothing else because he was face to face with death and he could not die. He returned back alive. He seized their rifles, seized their hillocks with their inscriptions and their everything, seized all of it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody say a loud amen. Lift your hands high up. And this anointing also will solve any situation of injustice on your personal life. Yeah. Issues of promotion, issues of victimization, issues of injustice in your workplace. A senior officer from the police sent to me and said they were not she was not able to come, I think, and commission or something. But I wish you pray for them. Because um, their condition of service, the pension situation, their disengagement situation is not at par at all with how it should be. Is that correct? Now, any other force and any other group that has such issue, from this altar, the right thing shall be done. The correct thing shall be done. What is due to you shall not be denied you. You shall not be treated less than your contemporaries, less than your colleagues. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands high. When I say in the name of Jesus, you scream fire, fire of the Holy Ghost, and place your hand on your head. After you scream fire, you place your hand on your head, and then you pray in the spirit if you can. Father, thank you. But before we do that, just pray this general prayer of surrender. Say, oh Lord, I come before you today to surrender my life to you. Leave, help me Lord to live for you to do your will in the name of Jesus as I go forward to defend my nation against the forces of destruction and death I receive your grace for preservation I also receive your grace for the defeat of the enemy for victory over enemy forces I receive the grace I receive the oil I receive the anointing for victory now in the name of Jesus lift your hands high Father let it be receive that seal some of the places where you will go take a little of that oil drop it on the ground and let judgment begin to erupt against those demons in the name of Jesus are you ready? when I say in the name of Jesus you scream fire and place your hand. The fire of the Holy Ghost surrounds you. Say, I serve the Lord. Zechariah chapter 2 and in verse 4. I will be a wall of fire. A wall of fire. A wall of fire round about you. So you scream the fire 
to be surrounded. Four five. For I said the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about. Lift up your hands. Are you ready? In the name of Jesus, fire. In the name of Jesus. Fire. Snap your hands on your head. Your preservation, your preservation, your preservation, your preservation, your promotion, your preservation, your preservation. My shadow, my yaya, my It's a new season. It's a new season. We are hearing the multiplication of the kind of testimonies we just heard from you in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands, everybody, for one more prayer. Please gently return back to your seat now. Be in prayers while you are going. Everyone lift up your hands, everyone, for just the final release. Congratulations. Please help me congratulate your friends, your loved ones, right from the altar, right? I mean, just congratulations for their preservation. Congratulations for their empowerment. Congratulations for their preservation. Shake their hands and congratulate them for their preservation, for their empowerment. Everybody remain standing where you are still and lift your hands up. Lay your hands. Lift your hands high. Lay your hands on me. Oh Lord, I need your hands. Send your fire, Lord. Send your fire, Lord. My, yeah, 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 yeah. Send your fire, Lord. Oh, Lord, I need your fire. your hands up everywhere you are. Before I pray that final prayer, if you are here today for the first time in Dynamics Church, quickly step forward. Bring your Bibles, your bags, and just come forward and let's receive you. You are here today. And now lift up your hands because the rest of us, will, we must receive the same preservation. And we must receive the same power. Are you ready for it? Yes, yes, yes. So that wherever the enemy finds you, you are more than a match for them. Lift your hands high. 
All the first timers, newcomers, please step forward, pick your Bibles and bags, and let us receive you right in the front here. So everyone, lift up your two hands. Is that correctional service? Please come. You are welcome. All right, they came in a group with their commandant, right? You are welcome. Please come. Give the Lord a big clap of hand for them. We have many that have come like that. Yes, even if you are, if you have come out before because you came for the as a member of the of the forces, but you are here for the first time, please also step back forward. Carry your Bibles and bags and step back forward and let us receive you. We, we are happy to have all of you here in our midst today. In the name of Jesus. Will you lift up your two hands and say after me? People say, Father, louder, say, Father, I receive. My preservation, my preservation today, today and power, and power to, defeat to defeat the enemy, the enemy. Anywhere, anywhere they are found, they are found. I, receive I receive preservation, preservation for, my life, for my life for my destiny, destiny. Today, today and power, power to, defeat to defeat the enemy, the enemy. Anywhere, anywhere I meet them I, meet them. I, receive. I receive now lift your hands when I say in the name of Jesus one two three you scream I receive and you place your hand on your head and once that is done will be true to go those who came in forward while others are going please you will wait behind and let us receive you officially with a welcome package and with also um, other packages for you lift, lift your hands high everybody Father I ask that for the whole of the flock here today and those watching online and everywhere they are around the world that the seal of preservation be released upon their head empowerment to defeat the enemy be released upon their lives and I declare the release now at the count of three in the name of Jesus when I say one, two, three you scream I, re I receive then you receive it in the name of Jesus one, two and three receive 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 in Jesus precious name I call it dawn lift your hands high up Blessed be your name, Lord. Honor to your name, Adonai. And so, everyone is going, apart from those in the front here right now, every one of us, you are proceeding in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Your testimonies shall be heard, even this week. Say!